The featured company is a paid client of Proactive Group Holdings, and this recording is disseminated by Proactive on its behalf. So it's in what we call battery technology readiness level four, which is the electrical chemical optimization of this complete new technology, which is very fast charging, 60 times faster charging, similar economic uh, density levels in, of, of, of lithium ion. That means it goes just as far, but it's really fast charging. Hello, you're watching Proactive. I'm joined by Graphene Manufacturing Group Managing Director and CEO, Craig Nickel. Craig, very good to speak with you again. You've just secured a 20-year Australian patent for Thermal XR. How does this strengthen GMG's long-term competitive position? Yeah, great to be back on. Thanks, Stephen. So basically, the, uh, the patent enables us to kind of lock away this area, obviously in Australia, but we expect it to flow through the rest of the world as we um, progress our patents through. Uh, in this graphene coating in heat exchanges, um, which is, we, we believe is a, is, a, is a very large market, over $20 billion um, sales opportunity. And that uh, the pattern, I guess, there is specifically around using a graphene thin coating for a heat exchanger, improving heat, heat transfer, um, whilst also resisting um, corrosion as well. So a 20-year pattern is, 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 I think, the creme de la creme, um, and we're very happy to get it. Craig, your case studies show double-digit efficiency gains in cooling systems. How scalable are these results across industries like airports, data centers, and also industrial plants? Yeah, so these, these results, which we announced just uh, two days ago, very interesting. We've been working on the condenser side of the air conditioner, which is on the outside. Um, these results were on the inside of the air conditioner, <clears throat> which means they are applicable on all types of air conditioners around the world whether they're water chilled or egg chilled or however they might be operated on the outside. This is on the inside and we are just reducing the pressure it takes to move the air through. So they're extremely scalable. This was on a very large unit, but you can see this operate in many different areas of, you know, as you said, air conditioning, refrigeration, data centers, and, and, and many other areas where you could see massive amount of airflow and reducing that by using our coating to get more airflow through. Uh, 6%, 6%, 7% increase on just the coating alone and then another 6% or so on, on washing uh, and drying um, is a massive increase for these companies, uh, these applications. Uh, you recently raised $6.9 million Canadian dollars through, through an offering. How will these funds be allocated between energy savings, batteries, and also scaling graphene production? Yeah, they've focused generally on increasing our stock levels to be able to launch our uh, products, our small pack products, which we'll be coming in and announcing shortly, uh, that will enable us to start distributing globally. Uh, so really this is around building stock uh, so we could look to sell it and, and obviously generate, you know, what we're hoping to do is push into a significant revenue this year coming. Mm. Uh, Craig, can you give us an update on your aluminium ion battery project with the University of Queensland uh, and when investors might see commercial progress? Yeah, so we've been working on this now for four years. Overall, we've been working on graphene for eight years. So it's in what we call battery technology readiness level four, which is the electrical chemical optimization of this complete new technology, which is very fast charging, 60 times faster charging, similar economic uh, density levels in, of 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 lithium ion, that means it goes just as far, but it's really fast charging. Um, that is in uh, later stages of electrochemistry optimization. Uh, it, the battery has never looked as good as we've ever had it before. It's very, very exciting. We're doing our weekly sprints. Uh, we're going up to 20 cells for every chemical uh, scientific experiment to get the density data, the real dense data that we need to optimize this. We are working with one of the best battery innovation centers in the in, in, in the world of Indiana, the big Indiana, and they're able to uh, scale even much further. We expect to scale with them all the way through this year and through next year, provide cells out to people uh, to, to who will be looking at testing this. And then we're looking to do um, a large commercial production in 2027. Craig, just finally, can you tell us how you're approaching partnerships and supply chain development to move from pilot projects to consistent revenue growth? Yeah, so there are, there are two phases to this. One is the very large companies that we've been working with some time and we've been talking about them. Uh, obviously, they run under the NDA. We are working with Rio Tinto publicly on on. On, on definitely with the battery and um, it, they're obviously looking at our energy saving products as well uh, because obviously that's something that they're focused on as a company. 
Um, so the, the focus there is to work with these big guys to work out how we can help them move their energy uh, and emissions uh, in, in big material uh, ways. Um, they're obviously very large projects to get these pro to get these materials and into their operations. But at the same time, we're going to be launching these um, dis distribution um, palletized products that enable distributors anywhere in the world to pick them up and distribute them and bring them into a more of a fast-moving consumer goods arrangement. So we build up our revenue through a blend of those two. Um, and then, of course, as the battery comes on, that revenue can come through there as well. So it, it will be a blend of revenues um, across our products and across different types of customers. Um, we see that from our learning in working in large oil and gas company product um, manufacturing companies. That's the best way to have a really good blend of revenues and mixtures. So the risk is not all sitting on one particular customer. Uh, and that's well entrained. And we should come out with some news on that shortly. Very good. I hope you'll keep us updated with uh, further progress. Thank you very much for taking the time today. Appreciate your time. Thanks, David. Craig Nickel is Managing Director and CEO of Graphene Manufacturing Group. The featured company is a paid client of Proactive Group Holdings, and this recording is disseminated by Proactive on its behalf. It is for informational purposes only and does not constitute investment advice, an offer, or a solicitation to buy or sell any securities. Viewers should conduct their own research and consult a qualified financial advisor before making investment decisions. The views expressed are those of the speaker and do not necessarily reflect those of Proactive Group Holdings, trading as Proactive Investors, or its affiliates. No responsibility is accepted for any loss arising from reliance on the information presented.